So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. We can see that just given the sheer length of the question itself. Um, TWP questions are typically four or more lines long. This is much longer than that. So all we're really looking to do is to make sure we write down and pay very close attention to every description, every detail, especially every quantitative bit of information provided, and write it down and translate what it means to us, right? So that we don't have to go back and reread this question. So let's get started. So the first sentence here says, for an electric field passing through a flat surface perpendicular to it, so I'm gonna draw something for that. So if we're talking about perpendicular, um, we're talking about direction, right? So if I were to say my electric field was going horizontally, my electric field, and then my flat surface is there that it's going through. So that's my surface. Okay, so just so I have a visual of what's happening. Um, the electric flux of the electric field. I have no idea what that means. Um, but let's, let's just say that that's like, let's give it a variable. The electric flux of the electric field through the surface. So let's just call that Y. Okay, so Y is that. Is the product of the electric field strength? So let's call that X. So basically it's saying Y is equal to X. And again, X is electric field strength. And the area of the surface, and I'll just say X times A, or SA for surface area. All right, so I think I got that translated. We know what Y is, we know what X is, we know what, the what SA is, the surface area. The next sentence says, a certain flat surface consists of two adjacent squares where the side length in meters of the larger square is three times the side length in meters of the smaller square. Okay, well I can draw that. So I have small square, I have larger square, and it says that the side lengths of the larger square are three times the side lengths of the smaller square. All right, so that's labeled, okay? Um, then it says an electric field with strength 29 volts per meter so EF, so electric field strength, that's X, right? So this is saying if X is equal to 29, oh, and I have this other X. Hmm, so maybe I should use a different variable. So let's call these A's, because I don't want to have any confusion. So let's say these are all side length A, and then these are side length 3A. So if X, again, the, the electric field strength, so if X is 29, passes through uniformly through this surface. Okay, which surface? Well, the surface made up of these two squares. So I can find the surface area of these two squares because the area of this small square is just gonna be A squared, right? Side times side. And the area of the large square will be nine A squared, again, side times side. So the total surface area for those two squares side by side would be 10A squared. Okay, so 29 volts per meter passes uniformly through this surface, which is perpendicular to the electric field. If the total electric flux of the electric field through this surface is 4640, so that's saying Y equals this number, correct? Because Y was the electric flux of the electric field through the surface. So Y is 4640, what is the electric flux? Well, what do we know? So I know this equation here, Y equals X times SA. So I can say, well, that means Y equals 29 times 10A squared. But the question tells me that Y is 4640, so I can write that as 4640 equals 29 times 10A squared. Simplifying that to 4640 equals 290A squared. You can divide both sides by 290. And in my calculator, 4640 divided by 290 is 16. So I get 16 equals A squared. And of course, I can square root them and get A is equal to 4, right? So what is the electric flux, it says? 
in volts times meters of the electric field through the larger square. So if we're just going through the larger square, well, so what is the electric flux? Well, that's y. So, so we're creating a brand new equation. So saying, what's y? So I have y equals, well, what do I know about y? I know that y is always just equal to x, which is the electric field strength, which we already were told is 29 times the surface area, but the surface area in this case is just through the larger square. So the surface area of the larger square is 9a squared. So times 9a squared. But again, I know that a is 4. I know that a squared is 16. So I can just do that this is actually um, y equals 29 times 9 times 16 right, because a squared was 16. So let's just do all that math. So back to my calculator, 9 times 16 equals 144, times 29 equals 4176. So y is equal to 4176. So there's my answer, right? So a lot of things to break down, but you can kind of see the flow, right? We started off with just a picture to represent what's going on, and then we translated this into an equation converting all those long terms into just y value and x value. We then drew a picture again, representing our flat surface. We then took the information provided to us about what the uh, electric field strength is equal to, and we can calculate for ourselves what the surface area was equal to. So then we put that into the equation that we had earlier, um, continue to solve that down to figuring out each side length of the square, and then the question goes and asks us another question, which is now we don't know what y is, but we want to solve for y as if it were, um, as if we were only focused on the large square surface, right? Only the 9a squared instead of the 10a squared. So that's our process to get to our answer. And the answer is 4176.